Thanks for joining us here today at Lakefront Brewery, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We're here to discuss your brewery pumps. Specifically here we have the Amco AC Plus slash CB Plus design. We're going to be discussing proper installation, maintenance, and things to watch for to keep your pump operating at its best. So as you'll notice, this pump has developed a bit of a leak. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect it from all the piping and electrical, take it over to our bench, and go ahead and show you guys how to do a proper seal change out on it. Now that we've removed the pump from the piping and brought it over to our bench, we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to do a seal change out on that. So first thing to do is remove the casing. So to do that, pull the casing clamp off, tap the pump lightly with the mallet, and that should come right on off. Second thing is to go ahead and remove the coupling guard. Now to remove the impeller, we're going to need a couple of tools for you guys. First would be a 3 8 inch round bar, and next would be your socket wrench. Go ahead and place the 3 8 inch round bar into the hole that you can see right here on the stub shaft. That'll help lock the impeller in place so that you can go ahead and break that free. Now go ahead and slide your impeller on off. If it's a little stuck, you can use a pry bar to get that one off. Remember you've got a impeller nut gasket and an impeller gasket on there. Behind that you should find your rotating seal assembly, including your spring and your rotating assembly. So to remove that back plate, go ahead and pull your gasket off take that guy off the pins and slowly pull it forward. Now this is critical you don't score the shaft up. Now you've got your rotating seal and in the back here you've got your stationary seal. And those can just be pressed on out. Now that you remove both seal faces, go ahead and clean up the pump a little bit just to make it easier for you to reinstall. Just use a clean rag and a little bit of mineral spirits. Now to reinstall your new seal, go ahead and take your stationary first. Try to avoid touching the face with your fingertips as you may leave dirt and debris that can cause leaks on the pump. Now take a little bit of food grade grease, go ahead and apply that liberally to the o-ring on the seal. Gently place the seal in place and with a clean rag go ahead and press it in. Now if you do happen to touch the seal face with your fingers, just go ahead and take a little bit of mineral, mineral spirits on your rag and wipe that face clean. As you'll notice, the seal seat is fully seated flush with the back of that plate. Now go ahead and carefully reinstall it onto your pump, making sure not to bang the size of the seal on the stub shaft. When that's in place, go ahead and rotate it onto the anti-rotation pins, and that's all seated. Next, go ahead and take out your rotating seal assembly. Now before installing your rotating seal face, make sure you take the backup ring out and lubricate the o-ring that's internal to that seal. Go 
ahead and reinstall that. Making sure to place your backup ring back in and your spring. Make sure that that anti-rotation slot lines up with the pin and go ahead and slide that carefully on back in there. Now go ahead and reinstall your impeller gasket. Little food grade grease allows you to place it much easier. This might be easier done if the spring is not in place. Slide that back into place. Go ahead and reinstall our impeller, making sure your key is back in place. And the impeller nut, remembering to ensure the impeller nut gasket is fitted there. Again, a little bit of food grade grease helps. and secure it on. And we'll finish up the way we started by going ahead and take your 3 8 inch round bar again, but this time placing it on the other side. This time we'll actually have to take our torque wrench so that we apply the correct torque setting to this impeller nut. Make sure to consult your manual when doing so as different sizes require different torque values. So go ahead and replace your casing, placing your clamp onto it, making sure that it is secured on there. You want to make sure that the casing is properly aligned. If you have it cocked to one side or the other, you may end up pinching your cover gasket and causing additional leaks. If you need to, you go ahead and use your mallet just to align it a little bit. Now your pump's ready to reinstall. 